or the fire itself. So is the spirit, the element within the body. As the element of fire exists in the stick, the element being superior to the substance, komoro, ha. Can you explain what we frequently see at night when lost in the wilderness? I have myself been lost and wandering in the dark. I've seen a distant fire. Upon approaching, the fire has vanished and I've been unable to trace the cause, nor could I find the spot. Baker, have you no idea of the existence of spirits superior to either man or beast? Have you no fear of evil except from bodily cause? Komoro, I'm afraid of elephants and other animals when in the jungle at night, but of nothing else. Baker, then you believe in nothing, neither in a good nor evil spirit, and you believe that when you die, it will be the end of body and spirit, that you are like other animals, and that there is no distinction between man and beast. Both disappear and end at death. Komoro, of course they do. Baker, do you see no difference in good and bad action? Komoro, yes, they're good and bad in men and beasts. Baker, do you think that a good man and a bad man must share the same fate and alike die and then? Komoro, yes, what else can they do? How can they help dying? Good and bad all die. Baker, their bodies perish, but their spirits remain, the good in happiness, the bad in misery. If you have no belief in a future state, why should a man be good? Why should he not be bad if he can prosper by wickedness? Komoro, most people are bad. If they are strong, they take from the weak. The good people are weak, are all weak. They're good because they're not strong enough to be bad. It goes on and on. It's quite interesting because Baker is trying to, and he concludes by saying that he could not believe in this superstitious uh, Komoro who believed nothing except substance, matter, and material things. When in fact, Africans are demonized for believing in spirituality and not material things. So now, <laughs> unwittingly, Baker actually turned things upside down and showed how he was the one who seemed superstitious compared to Komoro. So I think I'll end at that point. And that brings us to the end of uh, this episode. Uh, number 37 of the African History Club. I will continue with more chapters in the next episode unless there's an interruption with a contemporary current issue. And then, of course, I will substitute before resuming. So thank you so much for the support. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Be well, stay safe, and remain, as always, an African.